Hey everybody out there, this is something I'm not really used to doing. I really don't like being on cameras like that, but I had, I just had to obey God, you know what I'm saying? My name is Alton, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, I'm gonna be having to start a YouTube channel soon to let these stories and vision come out of me. I have a lot of traumatic life experiences, but this one just took the cake. Um, let me just start back when I was a young man. Um, I grew up in a middle class community. Uh, my parents were from a remote village in Jamaica called Clarinda and they worked hard and they came to this country in the early 70s and um, they had me, my sister, my brother, so we had a good life and um, I just started ripping and running the streets by the age of 14 and I, what you would call, jumped off the porch where I started smoking weed and I started having bad experiences but the whole time as I was coming up I grew up in church so I kind of knew right from wrong but it's just I wanted to be cool and in the in crowd. And it got to a point where by the time I was 15, 16, I started selling drugs. I was in and out of jail. I was getting into fights. I was getting locked up. And um, I ended up getting get locked up for a pretty decent bid. I did five years in federal penitentiary. I had to do a lot to survive stabbings and a lot of violent things to survive a lot of fights. And um, God kind of brought me out of that. But when I was released out of prison, I was still trying to find my way. I was disobedient. I wasn't listening to God. I didn't read my Bible as much as I did when I was in the jail cell. And um, something real traumatic happened to me. And now I want to actually get into the story um, of why God has me speaking to everybody out there right now about my testimony. So let me just paint the picture because words paint pictures. It was a night I went out and I went out partying as usual. I do my little party thing um, on South Beach. For you guys that are familiar, that's in Miami, Florida. And I did a lot of drinking. But mind you, when I went to prison, I was prescribed anxiety medication. So the anxiety medication was because of the trauma and different things they said I've been through. So um, on the back of the paper, it said you're not supposed to take the anxiety medicine with alcohol so I happened to be really drunk and when I went home I blacked out and as I was laying in a, in a bed it's like everything went pitch black and when it went pitch black it's like the room where I was in became another dimension and when I say another dimension a lot of people don't realize that the spirit world and the physical world merge side by side. Every day you might see people in traffic um, driving or speeding ahead of you wondering why they're so chaotic, you wonder what's going through their mind, or somebody might be arguing, cussing somebody out, you wonder why somebody on Channel 7 News or Channel 10 News just killed somebody. Like Everything is related to the spirit world. So a lot of times things that you see, you can't see with your naked eye. But on this night, once the room changed into another dimension, I remember seeing like two dark hooded figures and I found myself in like a hallway. It's gonna be the best way I can describe it to you. It's like the room turned dark. I was in another dimension. Everything was pitch black and I was in this large room, but then I was like in a hallway, like a passageway. And as I was passing by them, these two hooded creatures, they pretended as if they wasn't gonna grab me like I had nothing to worry about. So they waited till I let my guard down. And as I, right before I was about to get past them, they rushed me and grabbed me. And when they grabbed me, I felt powerless. I mean, they, when they grabbed me, they literally grabbed me and drug me a good little distance. Now, mind you, all this is going on in the spirit world. It's hard for me to explain. I was, it's like I was not in my body. I was not in this world. I was not in this dimension. When they grab me, they rush me, and immediately they, they as we, as they grab me and rush me, it's like I, I flew to, we, we all rushed towards the end of an edge, and it was like the edge of the darkness. And when I looked down, they rushed me all the way down, and I flew. My body was flying down with them, and as it was flying down, there's like molten lava, and I could hear somebody down there. As I continued to go downwards, downwards, I was going to hell. And I heard somebody down there say, help me. And um, that's when I kind of snapped out of that zone. And I found myself back in my body. And I realized 
from that moment above everything that the way I was, my life was headed, that um, if I didn't change, I'd be headed to hell. So um, I just want to encourage everybody that is listening to this. Um, my, I'm glad that I didn't have a lot of dramatic uh, testimonies like you hear on YouTube because I don't know if I could have handled seeing all of that stuff. But God gave me just enough for me to share my testimony with you guys. That hell is real. You'll be seeing a lot more videos. Um, we're going to be starting a YouTube channel called The Vision Connection. V Connect. Um, you can check us out on there. But in the meantime, I just want to say a quick prayer to all the listeners that's listening right now. And um, wherever you are, sitting on your couch, um, whether you're hanging out with your boys, watching something on YouTube, and this video came across you, and you feel like your life is headed down a path for destruction, I just want to lead you into this prayer that could reroute your journey from going to the dark side and going to hell, because hell is real, and nobody should have to go there. A lot of y'all might comment saying, oh, he was just drunk, it was, it was hallucination, like I'm an intelligent person, I'm smart, I'm street smart. That was not an illusion, I really was out of my body, and, and a lot of times you don't realize that, like I said, the spirit world is close, and we live in different dimensions. Um, you have a spirit and a soul, and you live in a body. And we all, once this body's gone, you gotta realize where you're gonna spend eternity. And right now, we live in a time where death is going viral. Rappers are getting killed. You see people dying from COVID. The world is in chaos. And I just want to know, like, if you were to die, if I was to die that night, I would have went to that pit and I would have went to hell. And you would never be seeing me talking to you. So I'm just grateful to be alive. And I, it's my job to let all the young people know and everybody know who's listening to this, whoever you are, wherever you're listening to this, that Jesus Christ is Lord and you got to repent for your sins. And it's not by chance why you heard this. So I just want you to just close your eyes and say this quick sinner's prayer. Um, if you're around a lot of people, you don't got to say it out loud. Just, just take this time and just say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry for everything I've done wrong. And I just ask you to secure my soul's salvation to live for you so that when I die, I won't make it to hell, but I'll be in heaven with you. And I just thank you for all the viewers right now. Lord, under the sound of my voice that's listening, that said this prayer, that you would touch them and change their life, Lord, and reroute their lives to a better destiny and a purpose, even as you have continued to change me, Lord. I pray that you would also change the viewers under the sound of my voice that they will change and become better people and they will not go to this horrible place called hell. Hell is a real place, Lord, and I just thank you, Lord, for salvation. Thank you for touching those that are listening right now. In Jesus' name, amen.